ancestors. Peace forever and always and welcome to another edition of what we call the Realities Temple on Earth Internet Ministry. I am the gatekeeper or the host of this program known here on social media. Wherever you may find me, I am known as the mighty, mighty, mighty mm, Angel Snub Nub 7. I am your soul brother, number one. Contrary to popular belief, there are those who may believe that I might get angry because you don't like or uh, reject, make mockery, these things in relation to this platform that we call the Realities Temple on Earth and its vision of what we call Operation Exodus Mississippi Campaign. It is a waste of time. It is a waste of energy. Unlike these other ideologies and beliefs, if you show or you question their belief, their ideology, they can become very, very angry, very, very upset, where they will uh, try to demean your character, they slander your name, gossip spread rumors, and if that does not work, they will threaten your life because you do not agree with their ideology or their belief system. I don't do that. I don't threaten nobody with physical harm. I don't tell you of some great punishment that's coming to you because you reject what is being said here. However, in all things, there is a consequence whether it is bad or good no more no less if you are or if I am correct but in general I don't get angry it's a waste of time and there's no need for me to be upset with those who disagree those who reject because that's your right you have the right to reject something you don't like or you don't understand. Just because you reject, I, just because you reject or don't like what comes from this platform does not mean that I am wrong. It does not mean we are in error. It just means that you can't comprehend. One good example of this would be a story from Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson wrote on his wall, I will sell, I think it was 22, 23 million records. At that time, you could barely get 10, 5, 5 to 10 million. So his brother Jackie saw the writing on the wall, <laughs> quite literally. Michael, what is this? You're going to sell 20 million records. And Jackie laughed. He said, well, you know, if you get uh, 10, you know, 8 million, that's all right. But to talk about like 20 some million, And even with all the success that the Jackson 5 and Michael had, they, Jackie still could not believe and could not see the vision of his brother Michael. But as we know, 
Michael Jackson released Thriller in November of 1982, and the rest is history. Not only did Michael Jackson sell the 20 million, Thriller went on to sell over 40 million, double that, and continues to sell to this day. But Jackie wasn't able to see the vision. Matter of fact, the story goes that Quincy Jones, Epic Records, and the majority of the people could not see the vision, could not see past what Jackie Jackson was talking about. You know, that, that uh, seven million, eight, if you get 10, that's good. But 20 some million, come on. Just because they could not see the vision did not mean that Michael was wrong. That that does not mean that does not mean that Michael was in error. And a lot of us have visions. We have these goals that we set for ourselves. I was just listening, I saw a video by the rapper T.I. And somebody was asking him what was one of his mistakes that he made as he was striving for his career. And T.I. said, I should never have told nobody about my vision. Because when you tell somebody your vision, the majority of the people that you tell your vision to, they can't comprehend. They can't comprehend outside the normal. I'm going to say that again. They can't compre comprehend outside the normal. Prince and Eddie Murphy, their vision was to become a rock star, a, a great comedian. There was no other plan. But the average person, you got to have something to fall on. You need to go to college, you have to have something to fall on. You can be a big basketball star, but get your education, you got to have something to fall on. Prince said, no. Eddie Murphy said, no. People can't see the vision. The average person, they can only see the normal, the average. They cannot see outside of that. They cannot see outside of what was what has already been done. Selling 10 uh, 8 million records, 5 million has already been done. 20 million, uh, that's impossible. We can't see that. Anything that's possible can be done, if it's possible. Now, me getting out of my chair, flying through the air like Superman, that's outside of reality. But selling one billion records at one time, it's, it's possible. It's realistic. But we can't, we can't fathom that. So you have to have a vision. And most people don't have vision. That's why they are easy followers. That's why the teachings of the Honorable Elijah Muhammad the teachings of Noble Drew Ali, the teachings of Marcus Garvey, the Bible said, the Quran said. And they have to go get their research and get their information because they need something to validate what they're talking about because they are learning nothing in their own life. So you need to find something to validate anything that you say because you don't even learn from your own you don't even learn from your own life experience. Elders should be filled with wisdom. By the time you are 50, 60, 70, 80 years old, you should be filled with wisdom. But most of your elders are still stuck in the box. They're still stuck in the matrix. They have no vision. They are the norm. 
And so the only thing they can give to the young people are the norm. Because they really want to be the youth. They want to be where you at. Because in their life, they have failed. So they're going to continue to give you their vision that's a failure in hopes that maybe after they're dead, I gave my failure ass vision to the youth. One day, y'all going to make it. A hundred years have passed by. Thousands of years have passed by and these things continue to fail. So I'm not angry or upset. I understand that we who understand, we who comprehend this, we are out of their league. We are beyond their comprehension. We are over their level. We are visionaries. We are creative. You cannot expect those who have no vision, no creativity. We are the new, we are the ones who actually represent the hereafter of the Quran. We are the ones who actually represent the heaven of the Bible. We are the ones to usher in the heaven on earth. We are the visionaries. We are that creative force. We are the children of God that have now become an adult. We have become God. And the children can't comprehend. They can only comprehend living in the house. They can't comprehend building the house. They can only comprehend talking about history. They cannot comprehend. They have not the vision. They have not the creativity to make history. So as adults, you should I, you should not, and I should not be so angry. It's frustrating, it's disappointing because you you think that all of us are on the same level, but we're not. They cannot see the forest for the trees. Their minds are filled with confusion. The trees are the numerous religions the different ideologies and beliefs. They can't see through all that. They cannot see the forest for the trees. They can only see the tree. But those who come to this platform, those who listen and can comprehend, you've no problem with what Angel Snub Nub 7 says. You have no problem with Operation Exodus Mississippi. You can comprehend. You can see because the trees no longer cloud your mind. You are the critical thinker. You have learned how to analyze. Use common sense. Critical thought. Reasoning. And maybe one day. When they grow up. We can usher in this heaven. Otherwise it's not going to happen. We are going to continue to lay down in our crib. And a crib is where we put babies. How long are you going to be satisfied with just being a child of God instead of a child that has grown up? And now when you open your mouth and say, let there be light, then the sun shines. Thank you for listening. Jot down your comments. We'll holler at you later on. I'm Angel Snubbed Up 7. And as Don Cornelius used to always say as in pardon, I wish us love, peace, and soul <clears throat> power. We are all the 5,000.